students in this video we will going to discuss we will to look at how to determine the difference of pressure between two points so as you know we can determine the difference between two points or the pressure difference between two points with the help of dif differential manometer so there are two type of differential manometers first is youtube differential manometer and inverted youtube differential manometer so here we have this is youtube differential manometer as you look here the name is clearly written here this is youtube differential manometer and this is inverted youtube differential manometer so first of all we will going to uh, look at how to determine the pressure difference by using the youtube differential manometer and then we will going to discuss about uh, how to determine the pressure difference by using inverted youtube differential manometer okay let us start first of all with the youtube differential manometer so i will going to explain you the construction of this apparatus first of all and then we will going to look at exact procedure how to determine the pressure difference between two points so here we have this pipe so the direction of flow if you look here the arrow the direction of flow is this it is from this point to this so direction is already shown with this arrow so we have attached one end of youtube differential manometer to this point and another end to this point and now we are supposed to determine the pressure difference between these two points okay so this pipe as you can see here this is connected to the uh, what we can say the right limb of youtube differential manometer and this pipe with this pipe we have connect the another end of the pipe to the left limb of youtube differential manometer so if you observe here so this is the manometric fluid so as since this is a youtube differential manometer you know that we can use this youtube differential manometer to measure the larger amount of greater amount of pressure differences so as there is a need to to calculate to determine the greater pressures we have to use the manometric fluid as the mercury because mercury is having the specific gravity far far more than the water okay so here if you observe the manometric fluid is mercury so by using the mercury we will going to determine the pressure difference between these two points so what exactly we have to do is first of all we will have the reading or observations note we will going to note down the reading in left limb and right limb so if you again observe the scale it at attached here so with the with the help of this scale we can measure the readings in right limb and left limb okay so first of all we will going to note down the reading in the right limb or the right side of this uh, youtube differential manometer so as you look to this mercury so this is fluctuating so for more preciseness we can have the average of this fluctuations so if you look care carefully i can have the reading as 135 cm okay and if you look to the left limb the by considering the fluctuations and average of it i can have the reading as uh, let us say 215 mm so now i have the reading for the observations in left limb and right limb so if i have the difference between these two readings so that will be i can act, uh, by using the hydrostatic law easily i can determine the pressure difference between these two points now we will discuss about how to determine the pressure difference between two points by using inverted youtube differential manometer so again we will going to use this instrument so here this is inverted youtube differential manometer so as the name itself indicates this is inverted since the inputs we have given from bottom side on the other hand if you look to the youtube differential manometer the inputs are given at the top but here inputs are given at the bottom so therefore we can say at shape is let us say this is the uh, what we can say the opposite of u shape 
okay downward u shape we can see so therefore this is called as a inverted u tube differential fan so now we will look to the construction of it so this is the first end here we have connected so with this tube this end is connected at the right link of inverted u tube differential manometer and this end is connected with this pipe with this tube to the right link so now if you observe here manometric fluid is the water itself since we are using here fluid as a water so whatever the fluid we are using or or the fluid of which we want to determine the pressure difference that fluid itself we will going to use in this u tube differential manometer on the other hand if you look to the u tube differential manometer the manometric fluid was mercury the reason is here by using the u tube differential manometer we can use the larger pressure difference but on the other hand for inverted u tube differential manometer we can simply measure the smaller values of pressure difference between two points so again the scale is attached for the uh, uh, taking the reading so taking the observation purpose so if you look to the right limb the reading is i can have 171 mm fluctuations are not there almost it is constant so it is easy to read the reading in the right limb that is we can refer 171 mm and on left limb if we observe the pressure uh, reading on the scale is if i am not wrong 165 mm so if we have the uh, note, noting of these two readings and if we make the difference between two readings and if we keep that difference and by using the hydrostatic pressure law we can easily determine the pressure difference between these two points at which we have connected this tube inverted u tube differential manner that's it so thanks for watching this video uh, wish you happy learning